Coastal fisheries are crucial to the health and well-being of many communities, so it's important that these resources are managed sustainably. The Australian National Centre for Ocean Resources and Security, or ANCHORS, at the University of Wollongong, offers education and training on ocean law, fisheries policy and management. Carly Hemampo went to Vanuatu to find out how anchors work in close partnership with national fisheries agencies in the region. Coastal fisheries are an important source of food, income and cultural identity for Pacific Islanders. Traditional practices are still used extensively by coastal communities throughout Vanuatu. sustainable on sustainable livelihood. Kakara village is two hours north of the capital of Port Vila. In 1980, Vanuatu gained independence and the ownership of land, including coastal reefs, were returned to the respective customary landowners. Tabu areas have worked well to maintain their coastal fisheries. However, rapidly changing conditions over recent decades has pushed communities to look for further practical and innovative solutions. What is CP, CPFM? I give him ownership right to the community. More custom right to stop, stop. More all rights from the all tribes, I stop. He said, I have money, got some reasons. He got some reasons for the fund, for the community, for the village, for the resources, for the wonderful step. Peter Nehapi works face to face with the coastal communities as part of the Pathways Project, a regional project led by the Australian National Centre for Ocean Resources and Security. He knows only too well the challenges of developing and implementing sustainable practices. At the moment, with these uh, fish coming to the market, it puts uh, pressure on the on the uh, resources. It put a lot of pressure on, in terms of sustainability. So this is where CPFM comes in to help them to raise awareness about sustainability of resources in the community, so that they can get ownership to manage their uh, resources more wisely and to sustain this activity into the future. Using this fish market to centralise operations and regulate the domestic fish trade industry is key to creating sustainable practices and providing higher quality products. At the moment we're trying to have a smooth transition of roadside sales to the central market. We are talking about maintaining the quality of fish from the uh, communities right down to the market. The long-term plan here is to enable communities to sustainably harvest the fish. Fish love father. Collecting data is vital to understanding the diverse challenges the fishing communities face. Anecdotal evidence, as well as log books and fish measuring mats, are used to record fish data. Developing further tools is in the pipeline. Coastal fisheries is always a very challenging area to collect fish data every day, fishermen are fishing, canoe fishing, fishing or cleaning on the reefs. Capturing that information is a challenge. So we're looking at some tools that can be able to capture that information. What type of communities are harvesting? What is their main target species? What fish they're eating? Are they selling their fish? And then that gives you, as the government, a basis of where they can be able to support and what kind of support different communities would be able to, to need. Since 2014, ANCORS has worked with the Vanuatu Fisheries Department to gather research that will support traditional management systems through community-based approaches. Their collaboration on the Pathways project has also developed a way to work sustainably across the region. The regional roadmap is looking at bringing these activities from the community level, upscaling it to the national level, so there is a production or oh, there is a fishery that people are able to harvest, process, probably sell at the local market or 
export. And then the regional roadmap also looks at collaboration between countries. The most important thing for us now is getting the community people to really understand the value of their resource and the value of managing it. Coastal fisheries is by far the most critical, most important fishery to our people and it's in the heart of our people.